sedated if you're new to bourbon. There's no wrong way to drink bourbon. Um, any questions before we get started? No? We're actually going to start with vodka. Why would we be making vodka at a bourbon distillery? Because you can always count on the college kids to keep the lights on, right? <laughs> Uh, we actually make five different kinds of vodkas here. This is Wheatley Vodka. It is a creation of our master distiller, Harlan Wheatley. So go ahead and pick that up and smell it. It's not going to smell like much at all, right? And then try it. It is 82 proof vodka. So I'm not tricking you. It's not tap water. Uh, the reason it doesn't smell like much is because it is a premium vodka. You do not want your vodka to smell or taste like metal or medicine or regret, right? <laughs> 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 um, it has been run through the vodka still 10 times. Any distillations over seven puts it into the premium category. Every time you run a distillation, you're removing impurities, making it cleaner and clearer and crisper. Um, you can make vodka out of anything. Uh, other countries make their vodkas out of what they have, like potatoes. We make our vodka out of what we have, which is corn and wheat. Corn and wheat. Now, the good thing about this vodka is that while it is a premium vodka, it doesn't carry a premium price tag. This stuff's $16.99. Your other vodkas for, are, for this, yeah. Your other vodkas um, are only distilled five, maybe six times. And oh, we all know what we're talking about, right? They're costing a lot more than $16.99 a bottle. <laughs> there. There. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Oh. They gave me a hard time. Yeah. I'll make it. This is the official house vodka from the cruise lines, too. So that's fun. And that soft, sweet finish at the end is from the wheat that's in it because yeah. wheat is sweet. All right, I'm the way you came here for today, our bourbon. Again, if you're new to bourbon, don't feel intimidated. Uh, I don't get hung up on tasting notes or anything like that. I feel like everybody's palate's different. You taste what you taste, you like what you like. We do have professional tasters here whose job it is to taste bourbon all day long, and they jot down a few of their professional tasting note thoughts on the mats. I don't always taste what they taste. Uh, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to keep trying, but... Uh, first up, Buffalo Trace. Uh, if you want to go ahead and try this in three small sips, um, or throw it back however you want to do it, you're the boss. So, Buffalo Trace is a low rye bourbon. It's dominantly corn, has a little bit of rye in there. It's malted barley as the third ingredient. It is 90 proof. The average barrel in a batch of Buffalo Trace is aged for about six to eight years in the middle of our warehouse where it's like your living area, there's more, a more of a consistent temperature fluctuation. Buffalo Trace introduced in 1999 to be your perfect every purpose bourbon. It's great meat, it's great on the rocks, it makes a great mixing bourbon because its flavor can hold up to whatever it's being mixed with. Uh, it is an award winning bourbon for old fashions as well. Now this is mash one. Remember, dominantly corn, a little bit of rye, malted barley. The same white dog, that clear on age whiskey, is going into the same barrels. But depending on age and location, it could develop into Buffalo Trace, Eagle Rare, a lot of the Taylors, Stag, Benchmark, Charter Oak. They all start the same. Those are all low rye bourbon. Mash 2, which just has more rye in it than mash 1. So dominantly corn, more rye, malted barley. Um, that is going to grow into Blanton's, Rock Hill Farms, Elmer T. Lee, Ancient Age, Hancock's Reserve. Those all start the same. Then we have our weeded recipe. Uh, we don't call this mash 3 or anything. It's just a weeded mash. Dominantly corn, wheat, instead of rye, and malted barley. So go ahead and try your Weller Special Reserve, today's gift shop feature, and compare it to your Buffalo Trace because these two 
are exactly the same in almost every single way. There is only one difference between the Weller Special Reserve and the Buffalo Trace. And that is that the flavored grain in Buffalo Trace is rye and the flavored grain in Weller is wheat. But the barrels for each of these labels aged about the same amount of time, six to eight years, middle of the warehouse. They're both 90 proof. Same price point, $27, $30. Some people feel that the heated bourbons are just a little softer on their palates. Some don't. Same recipe, same barrels for this, only going to develop into a Weller label or a Van label. <laughs> Maybe the, the, the uh, judge of that. Now next up, we're going to shift gears a little bit to Sazerac rye. This is made here. It's aged six to seven years. This is not bourbon. Uh, this is rye I mean, like Sazerac. because one of the things that makes bourbon bourbon is it has to be at least 51% corn. Uh, this is way more than 51% rye with a little bit of corn. And a little bit of malted barley. It's 90 proof, it's $30, but this is going to be spicy and peppery. Because think about rye bread. Rye bread is spicy and peppery because that's just what rye tastes like. Uh, this was used um, in America's first cocktail, the Sazerac. Also makes a great Manhattan as well as great old fashioned. Uh, it's good stuff. Some people shy away from the rye whiskeys because they've had experiences where they've just been too much or too bitter. That is a very smooth drinking rye whiskey. Okay. 
chocolates. Ooh, Thanks to our yeah. brewing halls for us using Buffalo Trace bourbon. Dark chocolate with a pecan on top. This stuff right here, a couple ideas to get you started. You can drink it just on ice, coffee, hot chocolate, frappuccino, protein shakes, why not? Put on your oatmeal in the morning, make French toast with this, in or on pancakes or waffles, pudding, frosting, cheesecake, bread pudding, banana pudding. It's great on ice cream, you can bake with it. You could stop off at Wendy's and get a frosting. <laughs> Have a straw and then dip your fries in that for the trifecta. Um, it's just a, a tiramisu, espresso martinis. Uh, so there is a lot. If warm brownies so good over warm gooey brownies or on ice cream on warm brownies. <laughs> um, but that is everything that we have for you today. Do you have any final questions? No, you sure? Well, I sincerely hope you enjoyed yourselves. Thank you for letting me show you around. If you had a good